see you soon. Chronic inflammation in your body can put you at risk for serious health conditions like autoimmune disease, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's and cancer. Our next live guest is here to tell us how to calm that inflammation in our bodies. Dietitian Alice Smith joins us live now. She is with Alice Approved in Winston-Salem. It's always great to have you for our Wellness Wednesday, Alice. Good morning. Thank you. This is an interesting topic too. It can really impact a lot of people out there. We first want to begin with what examples of anti-inflammatory foods do you have for us? Yes, absolutely. So anti-inflammatory foods, super important to incorporate in your diet. Remember our reoccurring theme, the more colorful, the more nutritious. Then we have spinach here. So leafy green spinach, kale, collards are going to be super important and then our blueberries. So all of your berries, your blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, super important. Tomatoes are great. So tomatoes are colorful, brightly colored. They're in season and delicious right now. Tomatoes are important. We really wanna remember our healthy fats. So our olive oil, our salmon. So salmon, olive oil, our avocados. So avocados are super important. Our nuts and our seeds, like our walnuts, and our flax seeds are going to have the highest amount of omega-3 fat, which is super important to calm that inflammation. It's great for our heart and great for our brain. And Alice, truly, you could mix all that up together and make a salmon spinach salad with berries and avocado and nuts, right? There you have your anti-inflammatory Ex meal. <laughs> Absolutely. I love that. Broccoli is great. Also, mushrooms and peppers are great, so have a huge spinach salad. Throw some nuts, seeds on there, a dressing with olive oil, some avocado, salmon. You are absolutely right. You can throw that all on there. How do you recommend that we incorporate these daily in our diet? Would you say, you know, at least make a goal one meal a day where you have these anti-inflammatory foods? Yes, absolutely. I would try to have as many on hand as you can. And if any of these are not familiar to you, so turmeric is an amazing anti-inflammatory spice. So having this and sprinkling this on your meat, on your meat, your veggies, your eggs, having turmeric, I just keep this out with my salt and pepper so that it's always out, ready to cook with, ready to sprinkle on your foods. And ginger is great too. So ginger root, if you want to throw that in your smoothies, if you want to make sauces or dressings with that, put it in your hot tea. Ginger is great too. So just think about where you can incorporate these. Blueberries are amazing for brain health. So Alzheimer's, like you mentioned, that's neuroinflammation. So we don't always think about that, but all of these conditions, the root cause is inflammation. So how can we calm that fire through what we're eating in our lifestyle? So think about, are we fueling the fire with what we're doing or are we calming the fire and having these foods on hand? And a lot of these things you can keep in the freezer. So you can keep blueberries in the freezer, throw those in your oatmeal in the mornings with some flax seeds and some walnuts. That would be great anti-inflammatory breakfast. Have your walnuts, you can keep those in the freezer to have those last, and you can even throw your spinach in the freezer to have ready for smoothies so it doesn't always have to be fresh and ready to go. And small changes can certainly make such a big difference in our diet. Do you have a recommendation before we let you go on other lifestyle choices once we get our diet down? What else in our lifestyle can help us lower inflammation? Absolutely. Ways to just reduce that fire in your body with lifestyle is daily exercise. And I really recommend sunlight. So treadmill is okay. Exercising inside is okay. But really getting that daily sunlight is going to be important. Vitamin D is super anti-inflammatory. So daily exercise, sunlight, really working on your sleep, enough sleep and good quality sleep, trying to reduce stress where you can, which I know is easier said than done. And then really trying to not smoke and also limit your alcohol intake are all gonna be important lifestyle factors. Great tips, Alice, thank you as always. And you at home can get in touch with Alice and see more recipes and great resources by visiting aliceapproved.com. We will take a short break here on The Vibe. Christina has your trending headlines in less than three minutes.